All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about the Seek Outside Peregrine 3500. Uh, with it on the Revolution frame, it comes in right around uh, four pounds, two ounces, I think is what they advertise. Um, the, the only thing I could really get a somewhat accurate weight on this was uh, just a fish scale I've got, and it was right around four pounds. So I would say that's pretty accurate. The main bag's what uh, their typical material, fully waterproof. Um, it's a roll top design, 3,500 cubic inches in the main bag. Uh, they say another 600 in the uh, side compartments. Uh, it seems a little bit bigger than that to me. Um, I have used this for the for 30 days worth of hunting last month in September um, pretty much every day. I really like this big side bag uh, for pretty much everything you want to put in it but for a big 80 millimeter spotting scope uh, you know they're they're high dollar I don't like having them exposed like most other packs do. Um, I know the Kafaru's got some really neat uh, side bags on uh, some of their bags or additional bags to put on their their main bags they start adding quite a bit of weight um, this is not a not a lot of weight addition but a lot of protection for the spotter it does fit in here nice and easily um, you can get tripod in here uh, a gun the butt of a gun will go in here which again I like having the additional protection. I don't really like strapping it in what most bags have this little tiny pouch at the bottom. You put the butt in and then wrap around it. I know you're probably not going to be in a lot of stuff getting gear all tangled while you're backpacking, but it just makes me feel better having the extra protection. Um, mainly I carried tripod uh, for camera in one of these. Um, spotting scope in the other and then my tripod for the spotting scope in this this pouch right here uh, then there's there's a bag over here or a pouch over here um, and then another one over here that you can put gear in uh, helps compartmentalize gear uh, it does it is really nice but just keep in mind when you're using these it does take up space here so uh, obviously that's just the the you know nature of the beast there with it uh, only going out so far in this pouch. Another thing is when the main bag is fully stuffed full of gear, clothing, whatever, it does make it a little more difficult to to get stuff in and out of here uh, with the stuff in the the main bag just because it's pushing out against it. Uh, but it is very nice having this outside pouch. I, I was keeping snacks in one side, um, kill kit in the other. Um, like I said, tripod in here and I had a water bottle in here. It is a roll top design, like I said. It does also have a fully zipped down the, the side there. So if you've got it rolled up and packed um, and you just want something in here, you can undo the straps and then slide the zipper down and get inside. It does have a way to hang a water bladder in the inside and then it's got a place to get your water bladder, water bladder hose out through the back either side. Um, like I said, I, I packed it full of what I would consider my uh, all my gear, water, and food for a five day hunt. And you can get it in here. The roll top is just fully stuffed and you can roll it down a couple times and get it in here. Um, probably probably wouldn't recommend it really. Um, it, I, like I said, it can be done. It takes a lot of uh, thought on where to put your gear. And I guess as you go through the hunt, the food is gonna obviously disappear. So it'll get smaller, but it's really more realistic to to consider it probably a three or four day hunt and then it's an awesome day hunt uh, type of bag um, I love it there's not a lot of 
negatives. I actually haven't come up with any negatives for it yet. I haven't strapped a bow on to it, but um, it does have a little uh, flap here at the bottom coming off of the, the frame. Uh, you can tuck it in, tuck the cam in here and then strap it over the top. I don't see there being a problem getting a bow attached to it. Uh, like I said, not a lot of negatives that I can come up with. It's a great three or four day trip bag and awesome uh, day bag. So I recommend if you're looking for something for a day bag or that, that can maybe stretch a few days in the back country, take a look at the Seek Outside Peregrine 3500. Um, if you've got any questions about it specifically, let me know. I can try to answer them. If I need to do a follow-up video, I can do that as well. Uh, leave comments in the comment section, both negative and positive. Uh, please like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can keep the videos coming. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Thank you. Have a good day.